my wife belongs to a bunch of these neighborhood groups on Facebook, even though like 90% of what you find on those in South Georgia is Karen's warning everybody about a recent African-American sighting. They, they, they still come in handy when you like, you know, intercept a lost pet or wind up with somebody else's misaddressed package. Anyway, the other day she shows me this long nostalgic lamentation that somebody posted on one of those things about the lack of Christmas lights in the neighborhood this year. See, the area we live in used to be way more upscale than it is now, and back in the day, it was the neighborhood that people from all around the county would drive to to see all the holiday decorations. And while there are still a couple houses that go all out for the holiday, mine included, long gone is the neighborhood-wide sea of incandescence that this lady remembers from her youth. And of course, eventually inevitably, her screed descended into a bunch of mournful conjecture about the reason being that, you know, people just don't love Jesus enough to deck the halls for his birthday anymore. It even warned that our Christmases would get progressively dimmer between now and the impending rapture, and like all the best apocalyptic literature, it ended with a long series of Christmas emojis. Now, the real reason that fewer houses are decorated in this neighborhood is that this town's population is decreasing fast enough to leave demographic skid marks. Okay, when I was growing up here, the population was around 17,000, making Waycross, Georgia, the nation's 1,603rd largest city. And today it's well under 14,000, and we've dropped all the way down to like, you know, 2,495th. That means that houses that used to sell to upper class folks are now being rented to middle class ones. You know, that maybe can't afford to spend hundreds of extra dollars during the holidays on fucking house flare. What's more, the population is dropping because all the young people are leaving in search of work, and what's left here are elderly people, many of whom probably don't need to be climbing around on ladders stapling lights to their gables and shit. But also, setting all that shit aside, isn't that what you asked for, Karen? Isn't this, in fact, what you insisted on every fucking time you barked about Jesus being the reason for the season? Isn't this exactly the outcome you demanded when you complained about the fucking Christ being taken out of Christmas and labeled every effort to be more inclusive with your holiday an act of goddamn war against it? You're complaining out of one side of your mouth about how the club needs to be bigger and on the other side about how it needs to be more exclusive. Right? Like, I mean, set aside the specifics of my particular neighborhood and consider the larger social movement that prompts a post like this, because in the end, it's not just about fewer Christmas lights, right? It was about an insufficient love for Jesus, an insufficient national love for Jesus. I mean, we're obviously in no danger of Christmas withering away. It's, it's swelled so big at this point that no single month can contain it anymore. For, now, from what I can tell, there actually is a long-term trend away from these ostentatious outdoor displays of energy consumption. Uh, and that makes sense as we grow more ecologically conscious. But in terms of people celebrating Christmas, that number's never been higher. Uh, especially if you add in international numbers. No, Christmas is under no threat, but all the Christian parts sure the hell are. There was an encouraging, though still deeply depressing, Pew survey a few years back where they asked people if they believed in all the stuff from the traditional Christmas origin story, right? Like the, the shit Linus said. And, and what they found was that across the board, even among Christians, fewer and fewer people believed that Jesus was born to a virgin and laid in a manger and was heralded by angels in the fields and all that shit. Of course, the depressing part was that as recently as 2017, some 66% of Americans still thought Jesus was born to a virgin, and a whopping 75% believed he was laid in a manger. Hell, 68% believed the bit about the wise men being guided to him by a star, even though that doesn't make any fucking sense. What, what would that even mean? But, but, but still, those numbers were universally down. Christmas, strong as it is, is increasingly secular, and that's what scares all the Karens on Lucinda's Facebook groups. They don't just want more lights on the houses. They want more Christians putting those lights up. Like every other goddamn thing that they're complaining about these days, it boils down to them wanting their group to dominate the culture again the way it did when they were kids. So yeah, sorry, Karen. Sorry you can't be more repeatedly validated on your drive home from work. I, I Sorry that the Christmas sales and the Christmas commercials and the Christmas-themed packaging and the Christmas specials on TV and the Christmas movies at the theater and the Christmas vacations from schools and the Christmas breaks from jobs and the Christmas music that just follows you everywhere like the malicious ghost of someone you wronged in a previous fucking life isn't enough of a reminder that your religion still controls the national calendar. But maybe you should have thought about that shit before you started trying to gatekeep joy and goodwill towards others in the first goddamn place.